Now we're finishing off with the last question of this paper. Now we have a graph which has an equation of this. Now in the first question, we need to find the y coordinate of A in terms of K. So this is point A. Point A is where the graph cuts the y-axis. We know that at y-axis the value of x is 0. So if we substitute x equals 0 into this equation, so f of 0 would be equal to um, 0 times uh, 0 minus 10 plus k. So this will be equals to k plus 10. So this is the exact y coordinate of a, which is k plus 10. Now let's find out the coordinates of p, the y coordinate of p. Oh, oh not just the y coordinate, the x coordinate also. Now p is a vertex, uh, p is a vertex, which means that which means that finding the coordinates is, uh, of this would be much easier. In order to find the x-coordinate of a vertex of a modulus function, we just need to take this value and equate it to 0. So that's k minus kx minus 10 equals 0. And the value of x is 10 over k. And in order to find out the y-coordinate, this is the y-coordinate of the vertex, which is y equals k. If you're still confused about how to find, how to work with modulus functions, we will soon create a, video, a lecture video on this. And I hope that will clear up all of your confusion. So the coordinates of P is 10 over K and K. Now moving on to the, on to the next part of the question. We need to find in terms of k the range of values of x which satisfy this inequality. Now let's take this inequality and solve it. So k x minus 10 plus k is greater than or equal to 2k. So in order to solve a modulus inequality, the first thing we need to do is that take this whole inequality and remove the modulus signs. So it will be kx minus, uh, so that's kx minus 10 plus k is greater than or equal to 2k. Now we just need to make x the subject. So if we make x the subject, this will look something like this. So that's 10 plus k divided by k. So this is one of the solutions. And the other solution is to take the inside value and make it negative. So that's minus k x minus 10. So basically this is 10 minus k x plus k is greater than or equal to 2k. Now we just need to make x the subject. So we can say that x is less than or equal to 10 minus k divided by k. So that is it for this part of the question. Now let's move on to the next part. Given that the line with equation y equal 3x plus 1 intersects the graph of y equal fx at two distinct points. So we need to consider two scenarios for this. So y equal 3x plus 1 line will look something like this. It will pass through y equals 1 and move on like this. So depending on the value of k, the Modulus graph will either move upwards or right or to the left. Let's assume that 
y equal 3x plus 1 passes through the vertex, which means that this will be only one solution because it intersects with the modulus graph only once. But we know that the gradient of this line is constant. The gradient is, k, uh, the gradient is 3. And the coordinate of this point will always be constant, which is 0 and 1. And the coordinate of P is 10 over K and K. So what we can do is that we need to find the value of K for which these two graph intersect only once. So when it intersects only once, we can say that the gradient is 3. And 3 can also be written as k minus 1 divided by 10 by 10 over k minus 0. So that's k minus 1 divided by 10 over k minus 0. So now we just need to find out the value of k for which there is only one solution. So the value of k is 6. All right. So we find, found out the one of the values of k. Now let's find out the other one. Now, if the gradient of this line and this line is the same, it will only intersect once with the modulus function. So let's find out the value of k for which there is only one solution and this line and this line is parallel so we know one of the coordinates which is 10 over k and k let's find out the other coordinate now the problem is that we cannot find uh we cannot calculate a coordinate between these these points because the thing is that we do not know the value of k if we knew the value if we at least knew the x coordinate uh, let's say it's 3 we could say that uh, probably this x coordinate will be 5 and we could have found out the y coordinate probably in terms of k now the thing is that we can find out the gradient of this line because if this line has a gradient of m, this will have a gradient of negative m. Because these two lines are basically polar opposite to each other. So if this has a gradient of 2, this will have a gradient of negative 2. So now let's find out this, uh, the coordinate of this part of the graph, uh, the gradient of this part of the graph the coordinate of a would be 0 and k plus 10 and we know the coordinate of p so the gradient would be equal to um, k minus k minus 10 divided by 10 over k minus 0 so this is equal to around negative k so which means that the gradient of this part of the graph will be equals to k. So if this gradient is equals to the gradient of this line, which is 3, which means that there will only be one solution. So we can say that k is equals to 3. So we have found out the minimum value and this is the maximum value so the final inequality would look like this k is k is less than 6 but greater than 3 so these are the answers to this question and that is it for this video if you guys still have confusions regarding the solutions please let us know in the comment section and we will try to answer each and every one of your questions as soon as possible. 
and i will see you guys in the next video